the stuff we're seeing in schools, the decline, uh, I should say the rise of secularism and the decline of religion all seem to be components in not just shootings at schools, shootings in, in cities, a rise in violent crime in all the major cities, but also an unwillingness from people in the community to actually try to save each other. So, uh, you know, talking about having a Parkland, talking about having with Uvalde, like I said, it's, it's, it's kind of like what we see with communist China. These cops are like, you can't go in, I'll get sued, and I'm not going to save them because I don't care about you, I don't know who you are, and you don't mean anything to me. Well, it, it depends, you know, it, it's a serious thing. You know, I get a lot of calls from parents and emails about their children in the schools and what's going on about everything, gender, identity, security, what they're teaching in the schools, restorative justice programs. And my first answer to them is because I... It's really painful. I can't answer everybody about their kid getting bullied or another kid getting murdered. But the quickest response would be, if you could afford it, you send your kid to private school. When did you guys ever hear of the last school shooting that was at a private school? You never hear about it. Point. And if you can't afford private school, you homeschool, or you move to a district where that's not going on. Homeschooling has been homeschool. increasing dramatically, but I think that latest Project Veritas video came from a very elite private, private school yeah. where people mm -hmm. are spending about thirty to forty thousand dollars a kid per year, and they have teachers there that are doing unspeakable things. That if we mentioned here on this YouTube channel, we would get cut off automatically. Well, we can we can yeah. let's put it this way: Project Veritas put out an expose where the dean of students said that they pass around adult toys and discuss the difference between lube and spit. And, dis and, and instruct the children on how to insert these things into their bodies. And this is an elite uh, private hi high school yeah. with 14-year-olds being uh, told this. What's the school name? Um, I'm going to have to double Francis, check. Francis, no, something. Francis Park or something like that. Francis W. Park. Yeah. Well, school, it goes Chicago. back to like every community, the parents have the power to make a change with their elections. And it all starts, like you mentioned, the school board elections are more important than who's living in the White House. But you look at what's happening, this is, it's all tied together. When we see the economy start imploding, these parents don't have time to go to these meetings, they gotta work two jobs, and they gotta work two jobs each. So now you don't got parents who can be at home with their kids. This is breaking up the family. Then they're Correct. using the schools as daycare centers, also bad for the family. Then you get teachers who are trying to subvert the parents' guidance, like what we saw in Florida, Re resulting in Ron DeSantis, you know, pushing along with along with Republicans the parental rights in education, you actually see now the craziest thing out of, out of Chicago with this private school, forty thousand dollars a year. This guy on camera is saying it's really cool that he gets to do this, and when Veritas exposed them for showing children, young young kids, these these adult objects and describing their use and insertion, the school defended the dean. The school insult, uh, 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 defamed Veritas, in my opinion, said that they were malicious, actively defending the depraved behavior. When, so when, when these, and that's the power of the parents. You know, who would send their child to a school like that? Take but, your kid out of that school and make them go bankrupt. 